This is the M1 version of the iPad Pro. With a nearly identical outward appearance to its 2018 and 2020 counterparts, it's easy to think not much has changed, but that would be wrong. Let's get these unboxed and we'll explain. Quick note on accessories, as the ability to customize your setup is crucial to comfort, most from 2018 on should still work. The Magic Keyboard still fits, the covers still sit, and the second gen Apple Pencil still clips. There are some great third party ones too, like the Sketchboard Pro which allows artists to use broad movements that are easily familiar from drawing on thin paper. We'll leave some links below. Comparing appearances, the 11 inch is exactly the same. But look close at the 12.9 inch version and you might detect a small difference. That extra half millimeter and 50 grams buys you the most advanced display on an iPad ever. With a brand new backlight system that provides deep, dark blacks, HDR support, and a contrast ratio of 1 million to 1. It's a gorgeous display, and content can either pop out or hide among the shadows. The rest is internal. The same chip that powers the new Mac lineup, with incredible performance and power savings, the M1, is now on the iPad. It sounds like marketing, but it's not just a step change, it's a leap. So what is all that power for? For creators and designers, it means getting more, or better, work done faster. It means more strokes and layers, faster drawing and rendering speeds, and ultimately, more time for play and exploration. And that is incredibly freeing. What the M1 version of the iPad really shows is that iPads have quickly moved from is this suitable to more of a that's really impressive how far can we push it of course this is in no small part due to forward-thinking consumers who validated the ipad since day one it's inspiring to see those who never settle and continue to push things forward we want to support them so all that begs the question is the pro software we use on the desktop ever going to come to the ipad hardware's there. This likely runs faster than the device you're on right now. It can theoretically run console quality games, model and render millions of vertices, and render simultaneous 4K video streams in half the time of most desktops. So is there a market for good apps? Half a billion iPads sold says yes. Are there good design patterns for touch-based interfaces? We think so. So maybe what's missing is your voice? Creators need support. So if you want your favorite desktop apps to come to the iPad, make sure you let them know that's important. Your voice might make all the difference.